Hello, welcome to CNA Gameplay. Today we're going to be playing a very rare Game Boy game called X. That's all it's called, just the letter X. This is the 3D game for the Game Boy. It came out in 1991, I believe, in Japan only. It's, it uses... oh, 92. Oh, okay. um, it uses wireframes and it's all 3D and stuff. And this was actually uh, put together by Dylan Cuthbert and a lot of guys who were, ended up going on to work on Star Fox, right? I believe, yeah, I believe the Argonaut team helped out. This was, like, one of their projects. Yeah. So it's very confusing if you can't read Japanese, and we can't read Japanese. <laughs> so we're not going to get too far, so this is going to be a short video. Are you actually playing right now? Yeah, it's the training mode. Oh, okay. It's just like a little tunnel, and then this dude's gonna talk, and then it'll be like, oh. oh that's disorienting. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Exit. Exit. And we get this weird wireframe face coming up. Oh, yeah, it is a face. Oh, it's like a army guy. Is it? I think the hat is supposed to be like a army hat thing. It's really hard to tell. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no. What's that? Oh shit. Something blew up when it hit the planet. This is really cool though. Yeah, that's kinda neat. It's a one of its kind for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, look at that thing. Ooh, check that out. <laughs> How often do you see that on a Game Boy? This so has tech demo written all over it. Imagine seeing that on a Game Boy screen and not on the Super Game Boy. It looks trippy. Does it? Probably with all, the, with all the blur and stuff? No, not even. Just because of the way the pixels are. Oh, okay. It just looks really strange. <laughs> I mean like on an actual Game Boy, not a, not a Game Boy Advance. Yeah. Like an old uh, black and green Game Boy. Or a, a Pocket or a Game Boy Light or even a Game Boy Color. Hurry up. <laughs> oh, forgot about that. <laughs> you want jetpack. I don't have a choice. Oh. He's just talking and talking and talking. Can... And General Pepper is long winded. Oh, I'm doing something. The game became so a game. Lasers. Right. So this is Mech Warrior now. I have an hour. To do something I don't even know. Um, so you need to go in there, I guess. Up speeds up, down goes down. The radio link supplies. I don't know what any of this is. Um, sure. Okay. That's cool looking though. We've got a little radar. Yeah. A little map. What's the thing you just passed? I didn't know I passed anything. Just blew something up at uh, <laughs> five frames a second. Ooh, five if you're lucky. Yeah, that was a really low frame rate. That was going down in Dark Souls territory. You just got something. Yeah, I don't know what. Oh, oh that music seems changed. Bad. Oh, it's a bad guy probably or something. Well, that was a pickup. Oh, well the music changed. I thought that meant a bad guy was on the scene. I have no idea. Is uh, the thing in the lower right a mini-map? Yeah. Okay. That was a very, very low frame explosion. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of cool, the way the explosion like reforms into a new thing. Yeah. So I have no idea of telling which direction I'm headed. Oh wait, yes I do, it says... Oh yeah, you have a thing. compass there. Alright, you're going kind of southwest. It's a very battle zone. Battle zone? Yeah. Is that a game? It's the old arcade game that's like wireframe and wireframe tank game. Hmm. Not familiar with it. It's a cool game. I had it. I had the Game Boy version. They had uh, battle zone and super breakout in it. Was it like this or? Um. It wasn't as like technical as this, but it was kind of like this. Was it wireframe? Was it 3D? Yeah. 
really? very, very simple, though. Just like, um, kind of barely more than triangles and squares kind of thing. Mm. Or like cubes and pyramids or whatever. That's all this is. Yeah, but they didn't have anything so technical as like a, uh, you know, little base with a satellite dish on it or anything like that. Oh. Like, this is way beyond that. Oh, oh this is a jump pad. I remember this. Check this out. <laughs> Go fast. Woo. Whoa. I'm in a flight mode. Cool. Until you hit the ground again. Yep. It bounced like crazy, too. <laughs> That's awesome. I wonder if anybody ever did a fan translation of this. Oh, no, probably not. Way I think that's an obstacle. <laughs> yeah, I kind of crashed. <laughs> yeah, it's way too obscure and pointless to do a translation of. Just ramp that shit. Yeah, I'm still flying. I'm holding up. Just kind of... Oh, I flew over an object. Yeah, there's something down there. So I could figure out how to land. Maybe did you hit down? Yeah, I'm hitting down. Nothing's happening. I don't know. Okay, I hit up. Oh, okay. There we go. So it has like a uh, flight controls kind of. I have no idea. It didn't work the first time. So I just hit up just now and it worked. Yeah. Um. So I have no idea what the plot of this game is, what you do, how to do it. I do know Tutaka's song is in the second level. If you just hover on um, a section, how am I supposed to get that? I can't aim my crosshair. Uh, got me. Anyway. Maybe if you like get close, he'll come down and try to get you. Nope. No. I think you have to like fly and shoot it. Yeah. It's way too difficult to control the flight, though. But yeah, to talk a song is somewhere. I think it's in the second level, and you like hover in a lab for a few minutes and just wait, and it'll trigger. But I don't know where the lab is, how to get there, how to even get to the second level. <laughs> so maybe uh, you just have to like go around and destroy the kind of things on your radar. I'm trying that, and it's it's hard to find them. Yeah. And even when I do, it's hard to do anything to them. Okay, so I can't hurt this. I wonder what it is. I don't know. I went between it. Nothing happened. Maybe it's just, uh, like, set dressing, kind of, just background. Yeah, it's gotta be. So I'm flying again. Um. So yes, it is flight controls. It's All very right. difficult to maintain, though, but... Yeah, I go... Where am I? I just passed something, I guess. That's another <laughs> ramp. Yeah, turn difficult. turn uh, a little, turn left. And try to get that thing that you're passing on your map there. I don't see it though. I see it on the map, but not in front of me. Oh, uh, maybe it's on the ground. It's probably too low. Well, yeah, it's another ramp. Oh, okay. Fly um, northeast and try to get that guy who was flying. This game that's may a, be kind of yeah rough around the edges, let's say, but it's still a super cool accomplishment on the Game Boy. Oh yeah, it's definitely a good tech accomplishment. Okay, something's going blinking. Go, uh, yeah, turn. I don't, I don't see it. That's another round. It's like, um, southeast of where you are right now. It's a satellite. Or rather, it's a base. Huh. We'll just I thought it was the flying guy. Oh, that it, yeah. Where's that? That's the thing that was flying that you couldn't get. No, it looks different. Does it? No, yeah, it totally I don't remember. Different. You've got a little, uh, some kind of waypoint thing on your map now. Yeah. I'm trying to get back to that, uh, base we passed. Somewhere What's the blinky somewhere? stuff? I don't know. Seems like it might be... Oh, there's the guy. Oh, that's a flight thing. 
There was a flight pad back there. Yeah, but I can't get back to it because I'm totally disoriented. Even with my compass. Can't seem to get back to it. What is what that? What the fuck is that? Chase it! Get it! It's gone. Oh. I wonder what the heck it was. I don't know. Well, good luck ever finding anything again. <laughs> I blew that up. Something. And you got a thing. I wonder if it's some kind of like energy special power up thing that's your blinky thing there. I don't know, the B button doesn't do anything in A, just stuff lasers. Um... I have no idea. I'm looking for that base. Totally pops it. Is the thing on your left your altitude? Left? The meter on the left? I guess. What about on the right? No idea. What about lower right? No idea. Okay. Oh, those look like those things I've been collecting by killing enemies. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's something. Wait, it's a spider. Creepy. Mm. <laughs> so I turn, and then I turn too far. Yeah, it seems super touchy. Okay, oh, it, it, is, it is one of those things. Now you have eight of them. Cool. I wonder what that gets you. Oh, nothing. Maybe, like, if you return to base, you can, like, trade them in or something. Maybe. I was looking for the base, and I couldn't find it. I don't know where it is. <laughs> I don't know which impossible-to-find icon on your map it is. It was... It's the dot in the upper thing, straight up north, but I can't... Oh, okay. I couldn't find it when I was circling around. I only found it when I was flying. Yeah, finding it when you're flying doesn't necessarily help you. Nope. So you just fly past it and bounce around a bunch and then can't find it again. So you can only see 20 feet in front of you in this. Is that fuel? I think so. It looks kind of like a fuel canister or something. Yeah. We only got 11 minutes left. Cool. Oh, you got a lot of fuel. Yeah. I think we're on a moon or another planet or something. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on here. The base is being attacked by polygons, or by wireframes. Mm. The fighting wireframe team. Yes. I'm trying to use my radar in tandem. Okay, I don't want the ramp. to shoot, it looks like. Yep. Whatever that dot is, you went past it again. Yep. Maybe if you follow the arrow on your, um... I'm trying. Oh, okay. That's what I've been trying to do all along. But it seems like it's impossible. <laughs> gonna just like whoop and swing back around. I didn't mean to land. Oh, that's what it's aiming towards. I did something. Cool. It's making a really annoying noise. Oh, what did that get you? I don't know, maybe we're on the second section now. It's got a new song. And two and a half minutes. Things on the map are blinking. Although those aren't real minutes, obviously. <laughs> yeah, obviously. So you got maybe like 15 or something, 20 seconds left. There's a big square thing down there. I can't land. One last ramp. Something happened. Uh, 
game over. You made it to mission one. <laughs> well, that's a little demo of the game called X for the Game Boy. So if you ever heard of it, or if you're, if you've ever heard of like the Hunt for Totaka's song, this is one of the games that has it. So there you have it. That was Enjoy. Cool.